welcome back to coding our toy so we've created all our sprites okay you can see my uh, different costumes as well so on my first sprite I've got the body and the body has different costumes to change into I have an on and off button okay so I've got my on and off button I've got my legs separately so that I can move them and my arms as well so I need to duplicate this arm and so I've got another costume and then move it slightly I'm just going to go down to vector click on it and then I'm just going to move it so that it is animated okay so I might lift that up a little bit there and I'll do the same with the other arm so I've got this arm I'm going to duplicate and go down to vector convert to vector click on it and then I'm just going to move it I'll move it up okay so now I can animate it so now I've finished my costumes I need to start coding them so I'm going to start with the on button for mine so it's going to be something that I want the user to click on so I'm going to go first of all to events and bring out when green flag is clicked because this is what starts the animation or game whatever you're doing when green flag is clicked it will start the code in action so I've got when green flag is clicked and what I want to happen I want the on button to stay at this costume you see it's got two costumes I want it to be at costume one when it begins so when the code starts so switch costume when green flag is clicked switch costume to costume one so I now know that it will go onto this on button in fact no I want it on off button to start off with so I'm going to change that to so drop down box costume two okay so I've got it off and then I've got to click on that to turn it on I think I'm going to do it that way round. so now I've got my um, off button and I need it so when somebody clicks on the off button to turn it on then it illuminates and changes costume so I'm going to go back up to events I'm going to say when this sprite is clicked change costume costume so switch costume to costume I think that was costume one so let's just check yeah okay so I've got two scripts now so when it starts initially it will change it to the off when the sprite is clicked so if I click the green flag it turns it to one so when the sprite is clicked switch costume to costume one so that's my start now I also want to send a message that we've turned the robot on so I'm gonna say that I need to broadcast a message so go back up to events and I'm gonna broadcast a message so when the sprite is clicked turn it on broadcast the message robot on okay robot on and then click OK right so it's broadcasting a message now to everybody that it is turned on ready for action so what I think I'm going to do next is I'm going to make the when the user Ooh, let's see we'll go to the body okay so what I'm going to say is when the green flag is clicked let's have a look at these costumes I want it to start at we'll start it at this costume costume three okay so when green flag is clicked I want to go to costume three that's what I want him to start at okay and then what what I want to then say is when I receive the robot on message when I receive robot on um, I want him to start changing costumes so I could change him to costume 2 and yeah we'll just take change when I receive robot on change to costume 2 so looks switch costume to costume 2 okay and um, in fact I could say we well, switch costume to costume 2 I could keep keep it at that but I could say um, then just go to control wait 
wait one second and then switch it back again to costume three okay so uh, I've got it at two and three there, there, there are other costumes but that's quite boring I think and the other one it's only got a little belly button so I'm just going to keep with costume two and three for this one now what I want to do I want it to when the, the robot is swatched clicked okay so when I receive robot on should I say the message I want it to continuously change the costume to costume two and three so I'm gonna say I could say do it forever keep on doing that but I'm gonna say repeat say for five five times so I'm gonna put that in there and then we call this a loop so when I receive robot on, repeat five times, switch costume to costume two, wait one second and switch it to costume three. So let's see what's happening. So click on off and you can see it's changed this. It keeps changing it and it keeps going round. I'm going to just up that to wait, I'll say three seconds. Okay, so let's try it again. It should slow down at changing the costume. Oh, now we need another wait three seconds after this costume. Otherwise, it's just flicking straight to the other costume. So I'm going to pop that in there. And I'll say wait another three seconds. There we go. So now it is just waiting three seconds after each costume. Right, so. Now what I will need to do, so I'll just turn that off. So when green flag is clicked, it's gone to this costume and turn it on, just check in that it's all working. So three seconds, it changes, I should change back. Yep, it's changing back. So we know that code's working. So I've, I've coded the body, now I need to code the legs. So I'll just stop that and go to the legs. Now this time I want it so that when I hover my cursor over a leg, it moves automatically. To, so to do this, I'm just going to go up to events and I'm going to say, um, let's see, when green flag is clicked, what I want it to do, I'm going to get a touching mouse pointer because this is, your cursor is your mouse pointer, okay. So I need something that includes that. So I'm going to bring out a forever loop. A forever loop means that throughout this animation, when the green flag is clicked, throughout this animation, um, it will forever loop around. So it'll keep doing the code that's inside it. Okay. So what we want to say is if, so I'll go up to sensing, if the leg, because remember it's the leg we're coding down here, if the leg is touching the mouse pointer then I want it to change costume so it looks like it's kicking out so I can say we'll say next costume see if that works put it in there when green flag is clicked now I'm just going to go down to this leg and you can see it kicks out okay so here we go right so I've changed that now and I want to do the same for the other legs. So instead of bringing out all the blocks again, I'm just going to drag this with my mouse on the top block. I'm going to left click and I'm going to drag it over onto the other leg. Okay, so now it's on this leg. I could do the same as well to the arm. So let's just drag it on top of that arm and drag it on top of that arm. Make sure you're on the right sprite. Let's just check. Yep, that's got it and that's got it. So let's just hover click the green flag, hover over and see if it works, it does, so yeah, okay, so, okay, so now I have, um, when my mouse is moving around, it works like that. My next sprite is the hat, and the hat needs to come off the head, so <laughs> to do this, I'm going to say when green flag is clicked, I want the hat to remain on the robot's head initially, so I'm going to go to motion. Now in motion, we have what we call go to X and Y coordinates, okay. Now on this stage, 
there is like a graph. I don't know if you in maths you've had an x and a y uh, graph where you've got to plot certain points on your graph. It's a little bit like a like that, okay. And if I move my mouse pointer, you can see my mouse pointer at the bottom here. That's the x coordinate there, and that's the y coordinate. So if I move my mouse pointer around, you can see it's changing. Now the hat is already on the robot's head, so I can quite safely say that it's at x73 and y minus 4. If I move it slightly, you can see that this changes the coordinates. So I'm just going to keep it on the hat on their head. I'm going to bring that out because I want, want it to be in that position at the start. And what I want to do is if the user presses the space bar on their keyboard, I'm going to go for that next. So when space key is pressed, I want the hat to glide upwards. So I'm going to go to motion because that's where all your movement is. I'm going to glide Okay, so glide one second to, and it's got this point, 74.2. Well, that's where it is, so let's put it back down and then move the hat slightly in the air to where I want it. And then take the glide one second out. You can see how it's changed, so x75, y58. So that's when the space key is pressed. So I've got it gliding upwards. I need it to glide back down. So I'm going to go to control. I'm going to say wait one second and then I'm going to say glide back down. So glide back down. Now I don't want it at that point because you see it's the same as that one. I want it to this coordinate where we started. So if I change that 75 to 74 and change the the y to minus 2. Okay, so let's press the green flag and see what happens. So we're all ready to start. I can now click the off button to on and that should change. So it's changed the costumes and I know I can move the arms and then if I click the space bar the hat should rise, so click the space bar and it rises up, it waits for one second and it goes back down. So now I have a very animated toy. Now I've named mine Robot Toy, yours might be named something else. Don't forget to keep saving it, file save now. Scratch automatically saves, saves your work, but sometimes it doesn't save it when you need it to, if your computer crashes and it hasn't saved it, so it's worth getting in the used to saving things. Make sure that you have clicked the grey share button which you'll see top right hand corner. Mine hasn't got a grey share button because I've already shared my work. Okay, uh, But uh, have a go with that. See how you get on and ask for help. Email if you need to.